You may not realize it yet, but there are a lot of hosting hijackers out there. And that's what we're going to talk about today, stopping hosting hijackers. And what I mean by that is you're building authority. You're building your brand. You're building your business uh, access to the listeners. And there are so many people out there, so many companies, so many services out there blocking that, hijacking your listings and sending them back to them. And many of them have you pay them. So you're paying them to let them steal from you. What do I mean by that? Well, there are lots of things in the podcasting industry that involves link backs. Uh, There's your email address, which you're syndicating out into the space, and you're making sure that the listeners can find you. Apple and some of the other companies, especially some of the podcast hosting companies, want to block the email address so that you can't make a direct connection with your listener. What's the point of putting out a public RSS feed if I cannot get someone to come who finds my show to come and connect with me because they can't find my email address anywhere because they wanted it to help protect our privacy. What they're really doing is hijacking those listeners for themselves. That's not okay. There's also the URL for your show and that is should be your website, right? It should be your home base. It shouldn't be Facebook. It shouldn't be Instagram. And it definitely shouldn't be your hosting company because all they're going to do is create a listing page, a landing page that looks exactly like the listing that's already on Apple and Spotify and everywhere else where you're in a directory. They're going to create the same thing. All that's happening is is when you click on it, they get all the organic traffic. They get all the click-throughs. They get all the power on their website. You don't. And they distract them with all the other people and all the other websites and all the other podcasts that they have listed on their site. They're distracting them. So you want them to be able to go directly back to you. So your show link, your website link matters most. Make sure it's your own. Then the next place they do it is in the episodes. So when you click through on the episodes and there's an episode link, there's sometimes there's a little world button up at the top. When you click that, They send them back again into that same listing, that same landing page that they offer to give you. They consider it a podcast web page. It's not. It is stealing your authority. It is hijacking your listing and it is annoying your listeners because they're not finding what they're looking for, which is information about you. So definitely don't pay a host that's going to hijack your listing. We never do that at Podetize. It's not even allowed. It's not functionally possible in our system. We prevented it on purpose because we think this is a reprehensible practice. It's aggressively stealing from someone who's paying you and it's not okay. So let's stop those hosting hijackers. Make sure you change your settings. There's a bunch of tutorials here where we're going to show you exactly how to change them, where your settings are, what you need. We'll give you the information. But also, if you just come to Podetize, we'll make sure to fix them for you.